everybody. Happy Friday. I have got a mishmash of a shopping video for you. I actually made it to Home Goods and Target today, uh, which was pretty much um, <laughs> a feat. I haven't been into many stores lately. I've actually been utilizing online shopping a lot. I feel like the stores are getting more crowded, and I also feel like the stock is not as um, good in the stores this year at all. So I'm going to tell you um, my stories from Home Goods and Target. I got a couple of other places I want to talk about. Um, I also want to talk a little bit about Christmas cards. Yay! Okay, so I got my first two Christmas cards today. Check these out. They're beautiful. You know it's the holidays when you start getting Christmas cards. Look at how beautiful this card is. This one is from Sarah. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. You know how much I love the red truck, the Bath and Body Works truck. And she says, wishing you and your family a very Merry Christmas and healthy, joyous, prosperous New Year. I really love getting these. These are amazing. I am going to try my darndest this year to do well on Christmas cards. So last year I did a Christmas card exchange and I didn't really like um understand how hard it was to send out 300 christmas cards and you know what the hard part is it's actually taking the addresses and entering them in the computer and then printing out the labels that's the hard part um but i'm, I'm determined <laughs> to try and do this this year i also got a christmas card from laura in texas this one is beautiful. I love old timey Christmas cards. There's nothing more beautiful um, than hanging up a Christmas card at Christmas. Dear Bonnie, wishing you um, and yours a very Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Your friend Laura, thank you so much, Laura and Sarah. What I'm gonna do this year is, I had this this, this wild plan last year that I would take, um, like just do one Christmas card video and then I realized when I got all the cards the video would be like three hours long. So what I'm going to do is, as the Christmas cards come in, I'm going to share them like with each video so we can enjoy them. I'm so excited because I love, I love showing you the patterns. I'm going to be hanging these up. So I have my P.O. box down below in um, description on YouTube. So that's, that's the Christmas card. Also, my mother and my daughter are hard at work. I've actually been joining them a little bit. We are making bracelets in the Etsy shop. Um, if anyone was interested, I've got a 25% off sale going on now. I'm probably going to do like a Black Friday sale. Um, but check these out. All kinds of cool. Christmas bracelets in our Etsy store. If you are interested, I will put that link below. Additionally, I do have another channel called Beauty Geek. Um, I'm obsessed with the Avon hair care products and their skincare. I love the Belief line. Um, there's a lot of stuff from Avon that I really, really like. So I ended up, um, becoming a rep and then I started a channel just for fun. I just do it online. I do a couple videos a month. But um, the one thing that everyone asks me about is the Elastine for Polythera. They have a lot of Korean beauty products now along with their like classic stuff. I'm like really nostalgic about a lot of the Avon um, products. But anyway, everyone always asks me about this. Uh, this is the hair oil serum. I also use the shampoo and conditioner, but what I do is I just take a little bit of this and um, I put this on my hair and I swear this has done such a good job in keeping um, my hair healthy. You just put a little bit on and uh, it looks it looks pretty darn good. I love this stuff. <laughs> so if you're interested in anything um, from the hair care collections, I will put my, my Etsy shop keeps going off ironically. People are favorite in products. I gotta turn my phone down, you guys. There it goes again. <laughs> How ironic. Don't you hate it when your phone goes off at like inopportune times? That is so annoying. <laughs> I will put the link uh, to my other YouTube channel, Beauty Geek, also below in the comments. But um, if you Google Beauty Geek uh, Avon, I come right up. So. There you have it. Definitely subscribe if you are interested. Okay, more shopping. I have got a pink Victoria's Secret haul coming. They have a lot of new products. I just did a haul there. 
that will be arriving. I never go into Pink Victoria's Secret anymore because um, the, there, there's no one there usually. Like I can never get waited on once you get, everyone's milling around the store to help you. But then when you get to the counter, there's like no one to check you out. And I feel like the store is like really like closed in. So I don't go in there much. Um, I do shop at Yankee around the holidays. The Yankee store is usually pretty good. I need to get a couple of Yankees. And then, like I said, today I actually went to Target for the first time since like June. I wanted to get um, my daughter a couple of the Starbucks mugs, check it out, for Christmas. And I found three. And oh gosh, they're so pretty. Um, these are the ones that are $16.95. And I'm like, I better buy these now because they're going to be sold out. I'm actually surprised they weren't sold out. So I got a red one, I got a pink one, and I got a green one. I actually got um, the green one for myself. <laughs> I'm like, that's really pretty. But these are the faceted ones. These are gorgeous. Oh, my gosh. They also had um, some of the tall ones. I, like I said, I was surprised that they even had these still in stock. I was like, wow. Okay, so let me set those aside. Um, I usually get the holiday ones a couple times a year. We like to, um, you know, fill them up with water, have our little water mug around. So then I went to Target um, after the Target, the Starbucks is inside the Target. So I walked around Target. Oh my gosh, you guys. It was a mess. Oh my gosh, there's like stuff in the aisles. Like they're trying to put it away. Um, the shelves are partially empty. Like there's no toilet paper. I'm like, are we going into a toilet paper shortage again? What is going on? Because like I said, I, I primarily order online. They did have a really nice selection of candy. Check it out. I got my Christmas nougats. I got like three bags of these. <laughs> I'm so excited to get my Brock's Christmas nougats. And then I actually did bring this bag over here. I bought an entire bag of Christmas candy. My husband's um, sister comes and visits us um, for the holidays and I have a niece and two nephews and every year what I do is, I'll, maybe I'll show those online, I get a bag from like Dollar Tree and I fill it with um, candy and toys for each. The kids are getting older now, but they still like it. I used to do it when they were like three and four. They were like all the kids were like went crazy for it. But I find that year after year, uh, they still like it when I, I make candy bags for them and put cute little toys in. So I'm going to be doing that again this year. I also give them now. It's nice because I can give the kids Bath and Body Works because they're get, they're getting a little bit older. So I'm going to do like um, the lip gloss. Uh, you know, the body lotion, stuff like that. So that'll be fun. Oh, and the shapeable soap. They always get the shapeable soap in their bag. So I got to do that. Okay. Also at Target, remember yesterday I did the tree hut haul at Alta or the little uh, minis? You, uh, one of my viewers said, um, I believe go to Target or Walmart for a tree hut. And I did. <laughs> So I got the giant candy cane. Oh my gosh, this smells so absolutely delicious. Um, I was super excited uh, to get the mint one. So that was good. They do have these at Target. I believe this was $6.99. So not a bad price either. And then it was weird. There's like this like mishmash of products. They're like half stocked, half not stocked. It was really weird. The Christmas candy was pretty good, but the beauty was a little low. I'm, I'm guessing this was from the fall, but they had the beloved collection, um, apple and cinnamon bark. I was kind of um, intrigued by this one. This smells really, really good. This is more of a fall scent, but this is the um, the shower gel. So I thought I would get one of these. I might use this as a stocking stuffer. I might use it, but I just wanted to let you guys know um, that they do have this. I actually put a photo on Instagram. The other scent um, that they had available uh, was the cranberry and orange flower. So I didn't realize they were doing holiday scents um, in that beloved collection. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Um, other than that, I bought like uh, granola bars. I bought some gum. <laughs> I bought toilet paper. I bought paper plates. Nothing else exciting from Target that's actually worth showing online. <laughs> then um, I actually went to Home Goods before Target. I went in the reverse direction. So a couple of things I got at Home Goods. Oh my gosh, this thing is here. Not the video. Coco just started barking out the window. <laughs> so getting back on track here, I bought this Lucite. Um, 
drawer organizer. It was a little bit pricier than I normally spend. It was $19, but I really like this because what I want to do is I want to start organizing my Bath and Body Works lip balms into these drawers because I tend to just lose them. I like to keep one in my purse, but I want to use this kind of as an organizer um, for maybe some little tiny Bath and Body Works things or some eye pencils. I feel like uh, my makeup table is getting out of control. So I'm actually happy I bought this little organizer because you guys know how much I like to organize. Um, I also bought, check this out, uh, I bought my mom a blankie. <laughs> She's actually with me. She picked it out. This is one of those uh, chenille throws. This is so pretty and it is so soft. Um, she wanted this on her chair, so our living room is going to look all festive. I was excited about that. So we got that. Um, and then I have a bag of some mishmash stuff. So I thought these were so pretty, you guys. Oh, my gosh. So I want to do um, some gift ideas for you guys for Bath & Body Works. And look at how beautiful these boxes are. The boxes at Home Goods are inexpensive. $2.99 for this box. And then the pink with the nutcrackers and the gold. This one is only $3.99. I'm going to show you how you can create like an adorable little um, gift pack for someone with Bath and Body Works or just a mishmash of products, but these make great gifts and then you don't have to wrap them. You can just tie a bow around it. So I did get some boxes. I also got, oh my gosh, you guys, I feel like, okay, this is difficult. I have to, I have to do a little bit of a, um, a maneuver here. How funny is this? Okay, I didn't get too much uh, in the in the uh, way of um, dinnerware here, but okay, let me. <laughs> I'm having trouble. Okay, there we go. We're all organized now. By the way, I gotta say, I'm gonna put a couple of screenshots up right here of Home Goods. Our Home Goods was looking really good. They were really uh, thin on product for Halloween, but. Oh, Thanksgiving and Christmas? Oh my goodness, the store is absolutely gorgeous. They have a giant Santa's. Um, really nice stuff. So I, I, I really want to go back there because they had a lot of stuff out. They had a lot of stuff they were bringing out. Um, they were a little bit light on the Christmas Ray Dunn. I don't know how anyone finds Christmas Ray Dunn anymore. I did get two mugs. Um, I do like these mugs for um, their stainless steel. I like these for like juice and stuff. Uh, one says Mary and one says Believe. The problem is after about a year, they start to chip a little bit. Uh, so I try and replace these about like, you know, once every couple of years. But I really, they're supposed to be wine glasses, I think. I don't drink wine, so I don't put wine in them. But um, they're kind of nice for like juice and stuff. So um, I did get two of the mugs. I also got a ton of tissue paper because um, with our Etsy star, we like to wrap everything in really festive, pretty tissue paper. Um, so we try and find like the prettiest tissue paper that we can. <laughs> so I got a whole bunch of tissue paper for wrapping um, our bracelets up. And then I got this box. Check it out. This was only um, $3.99. If you're looking for boxes, they're a much better deal at Home Goods than they are at like Michael's or Joanne, unless you have a really good sale. But this one says Merry and Bright. And I got some bar soap, you guys. Every year, I like to get um, a couple of bar soaps. Let me open this up. Um, to put in the bathrooms. I don't know why. There's something so pretty about a bar soap. Total old school. Oh, I got this too. This cute little snowman. I'm doing my bathroom up in snowman this year. I got a snowman uh, shower curtain, which I need this snowman. Uh soap pump from um, Bath and Body Works. <laughs> so the first one I got is called Winter Berries. I am probably going to gift a couple of these. I didn't know if they were going to have them. I didn't know when I was coming back. I'm like, I better get a couple because I do use them as gifts. Um, they have the Ray Dunn ones. Oh my gosh, you guys. They've got peppermint bark and sparkling cranberry. Look how cute these are. These are only $3.99, you guys, which is a fabulous price. Um, you know how expensive bar soap is, um, even at Bath & Body Works, when they have it. I mean, it's like $8.50, and then unless it's on sale, it's not a great deal. Um, and look, it says soap on it. How cute is that? 
Uh, this one smells really good. It does smell like peppermint bark. And then, um, let me try sparkling cranberries. These are actually open, so you can smell them, which is kind of nice. Oh, I actually like the sparkling cranberries better. This one actually smells better, believe it or not. Um, so I thought that was super cute. I'm like, these are great gifts. Um, next up, by the way, you can shop online now at Home Goods. I don't even know what you can buy. I, I kind of perused it a little bit. I got uh, peppermint. This is the uh, Castle Bell. These are these. Um, these are made in Portugal, and they're triple milled. Um, these are actually the Ray Dunn ones are cruelty free, paraben free. So they're, they're really nice soap. Gosh, this one smells so good. Look at that with the elf. How cute is that? These would make a great gift. These are three ninety nine. I'm like, that's such a good deal. I got um, North Pole. This is so cute. I don't know what this one is. Oh, it's candy cane. Look at this, how adorable that is. And then, um, oh, that was the, <laughs> you, got, you guys got to see this one. Check it out. Oh my gosh, it's Coco. <laughs> I had to get this one because this looks like my dog. It is dashing through the snow and it is fresh vanilla snow. That smells really good. You can kind of smell it through the side. But um, you're going to be able to find these soaps at Home Goods, TJ Maxx and Marshalls probably. Uh, really good deal. I highly recommend if you have one of these stores uh, near you and you're looking for cute holiday stuff uh, to stop in because you know the deals are out there. As far as like the pricing and everything, I do feel like prices are starting to creep up um, not only at Bath and Body Works, but like across the board. I know there's a lot of supply chain issues out there and um, you know you, you really you really need to like figure out what the best deal is um, in order to save money for this holiday season. So hopefully I can navigate you guys through some, um, you know, pricing <laughs> to try and help you save money. Uh, by the way, my scarf is from Dollar Tree. It was a dollar. <laughs> I love these scarves. These are like the best scarves ever. I would much rather pay a dollar for this scarf than, you know, whatever those scarves are like from you know the high-end scarves that people buy that are like two hundred dollars i'm like no give me my dollar tree scarf so anyway i'm all about saving money on everything so thank you as always for watching i will see you guys later bye bye